Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Jimbo's Informative. And today we're going to be showing you how to, this is Jimbo's Informative Volleyball uh, Edition, how to fix uh, an antenna that's been broken. Have you ever had an antenna where uh, on the top cable, uh, where are we at here? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Sorry guys, um, there we go. Uh, you get this part here that breaks off. That would be the uh, you know, the part here that grabs the cable. Um, well, uh, now, instead of having to buy a whole pair of antennas for like 90 bucks or 100 bucks, whatever they are, you can buy just these. Um, they are a little trick to putting them on. I did one already as a test. Um, I'll show you here. There are uh, two pins. See, see the hole? There's a pin in that hole, like a cotter type pin. And then uh, down here at the bottom of this, there's a little cotter pin type hole. So I recommend having a workbench. Um, and you're going to need uh, some sort of, you could use a finishing nail or something like that. Let me uh, just make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. So I have this little box here that supports the tail weight. And you can buy the bottoms too um, and replace them as well. Uh, these, these here are, it's like 15 bucks. And these I think are 20 or 25 uh VolleyballUSA.com is where I get them from. <coughs> Excuse me, my allergies are killing me. So, um, what I did, what I used is I used a little, for me, this little Torx guy here, fit in the hole perfect. So I just put it on, on top here and I gave it a little tap, tap, tap. And then the same thing over here on that one. I already pre-tapped them a little bit. So then after you do that, then uh, you can see how the pins are sticking up here now, right? So what I do then, and then make sure you have yourself like a little, some sort of tray of some sort, because when you take these pins out, you don't want to lose them. So I use the uh, side cutters here to grab and rock pry them up. And then this little white knob comes off. I'm gonna put that in there. And over here, we're gonna take this off. Take this guy out. Okay, we got that out. Pick our box up. So now, um, this whole thing just slides right off. And then you take your new one here come on you take your keep going damn it you take your new one and you just slide it on and then you also take your little white ring and slide it on and then we're gonna come back here to the spots where we need to be and um you can tell by looking at the hole, one side of the hole is gonna look like it's a slightly bigger or it's got like a little bit of marring or something. That's the side you wanna put the pin in through. You wanna go in that side. Uh, otherwise, it's real hard to get it to go through the other side. So I line those holes up here in the vise. At least I do my best to. And let's see here. And get it lined up and then now i'll take a pin there's a pin and i'll use my needle nose <coughs> you can also tell by looking at this little pin see how one side's cleaner than the other the the side that's not as clean is the side you want to put in so we'll start that we'll hold that here and we will 
see if we can tap, tap, tap it in. Line it up and so then I'm going to move over to this part because it's a, a firmer base underneath there for it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look at this hole to see. And we might be lined up. Let's see what happens. Yep. And tap it in. Easy as that. Bring this down. Spin it up a little bit. And then uh, we got our white ring here. And again, with the white ring, you can tell by the hole. See, one side is real. One side is real clean, and one side's got a little bit of like marring and stuff. And plus, there's a little bit of added to that from taking it out. But you want to put it back in from the same side you took it out. It uh, it works the best in my opinion. And then again, now we're going to. Take our pin, find the dirtier side, dirty, <laughs> and now we're just going to tap it in. Here we go. Right, we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to just clamp that down to get it started. <laughs> Again, excuse me so much. I am so sorry. I don't mean to be coughing during a video. Um, my allergies are just, uh, kicking my butt. Here we go. We've got it lined up. So now that that's in there a little more secure, we will see if we can get this started. That looks good. One little... So I didn't like do like a like a solid dead blow. I did like a like kind of like a like a you know what I mean? Just a little like a little pull off on it uh, just to get that to go the first way because it it wants to like move around and stuff on you. So now we're over here. Hopefully it stayed lined up. It did. We tap it in the rest of the way. Get my fat hand out of the way. And now you have a fully working antenna. Stick it over. Oh, you know what? Ha -ha. I have a piece of cable here. We'll just let this act as it. You know, you, you hook over the top of your cable like so, and then you just give it a little push and spin, and then that goes up. You know, normally there's a you know net on this, obviously, and stuff. But you see, you, you get the idea. So that's how to fix the uh, an antenna. Easy peasy pie um, for fifteen dollars plus shipping plus or uh, plus shipping uh, in, in lieu of you know a hundred dollars for a new pair of them. So this was two broken antennas that I fixed for forty five dollars instead of replacing for uh, one hundred and fifteen dollars with shipping. And then, you know, I bought a couple extra sets, so that way if we have more break, then uh, I've already got them. So, and that brings the, you know, the price down on, you know, all of them. So, just a little something for everybody. Uh, antenna repair, easy as that. All right, have a great day, guys.